Hey everybody, how's it going today? It's your boy Loomis and we are back at it again bro with another Wizard101 YouTube video. This time I'm going to be throwing back to what I usually did back in the day. I'm going to be doing another reagent crafting guide for you guys. This time I'm going to be covering parchment. I'm going to be covering two different areas for parchment. The first area is going to be for the lower levels. It's here in Krakatopia. If you're above level 100, there is a much better place to get it. And if you're interested in that and you don't want to see the farming for the lower levels, then you can go ahead and skip to this timestamp on screen in the video. Alright guys, so the first area is here in Krakatopia. It's in the Vault of Ice. It's the second area you unlock when you're questing through the game. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the Croco Sphinx. And the first area it spawns inside the Croco Sphinx is right here in the entrance hall. There's also stone block and other things. You're going to want to check all down this hall. If it's not there, come check to the right. If it's not there, come check to the left. There's some right here. And then what you're going to want to do is proceed into the Grand Arena area. You're going to want to run all up and down the Grand Arena area because it spawns all throughout these halls. It spawns inside the Colosseum and it spawns in this extra section where you fight Kayamate. And we got some right here, right by the statue here in the main hall of the Grand Arena. We got some right here in the Colosseum area. We got some deep mushroom here as well. Some more over here right next to a silver chest. And there's even more right here, right by the spiders. One more here, right off to the right of the Arena Master. And then proceed through and check this final section of the Grand Arena. Then once you're done checking that out, head back to the Colosseum and use this teleporter right here. And then proceed out into the entrance hall. And then come out and go into the Hall of Champions area. And once again, just go all up and down this area. It spawns all throughout. There's also a little tall pumpkin housing item here that's free to take we got some right here in the corner of the hall that's next to the glacial avengers we got some next to the boss door in the same area here and then once you're done with that go ahead and proceed back out into the entrance hall then once you're back there guys that's when you can switch realms go ahead and do it all again this is the technique I used when I was in the lower levels. I'm going to show you guys what I do nowadays to get parchment. So if you're level 100 or above, what you can do is you can head on over to Nightside. That's here under the Rainbow Bridge. Once you're there, go ahead and proceed into Darkmoor. That's right behind the Death Tree Mortis. Then once you're in Darkmoor, if you've already done the dungeon, what you can do is go ahead, step to the left, and go through this blue colored teleporter here. And it's going to teleport you to the start of the second part of the Darkmoor dungeon. And this little hallway that's a part of the Darkmoor dungeon, in my opinion, is by far the best and easiest place to get parchment if you're above level 100. We got some right here, right next to the statue that's in front of Renfield Fly Glob. We got some behind this statue too, that's right behind the teleporter. Just keep walking up and down this hall looking, and then go ahead and switch realms and repeat it all again. It's worth noting this place is also good for scrap iron if you're in the market for that. I do have a video on scrap iron, uh, places you can get it if you're in the lower levels, so be sure to check that video out after you're done watching this. The only drawback to this method, the level 100 method I can think of, is since it's such a short area, uh, you're going to have to be waiting the entire 60 seconds in between. However, um, I like these types of farm areas better, ones where you don't have to just run all around looking, hoping you get lucky. So just go ahead and use the method that works best for you. And that's where I'm going to end the video for today, guys. I like to keep my guides clean, short, and simple, as you know I do. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe. Please drop a like. Please check out my other walkthrough videos, as well as my latest PvP videos. As always, it's your boy Loomis. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. You can go ahead and tune out now. Peace.